Before we create our server over on Laravel Forge, we need to deploy our code to source control. So for this, you'll need a GitHub account. Uh, you can use other version control if you want to. Uh, if you're already familiar with pushing code to version control, this will be pretty straightforward. And what you'll also need to make sure you do is over in Forge, link up your source control. So you can see here that I've got GitHub linked, uh, but of course you could use GitLab or Bitbucket if you wanted to. So I've got GitHub linked up to my account. Let's create a repository over on GitHub and push our code up. So I'm going to call this Laravel WebSockets on Forge, just to be explicit. I'm going to set this as a private repository, but it doesn't matter whether it's public. And I'm going to go ahead and create this out. Now, once this is created, let's go and just grab this git remote add origin command because we don't need to remember that. And just before we start to add any files to a Git repository, let's make sure we update our Git ignore file in here. Now, the reason we're doing this is when we push this code up to production, we want to compile our assets on production. Now, when we ran in the last course, npm run dev locally, that goes ahead and creates over in the public directory here under JS and app.js file. We don't want that to be included. So we're going to go over to public and JS and app.js and we're going to ignore that file. We don't want that to be pushed up to source control. We want to ignore that so we can compile it when we deploy it. Okay, so inside of the uh, main directory, let's go ahead and run git init to initialize an empty git repository. Let's run git add dot to just add everything. And let's run git commit and let's give a commit message. And I'm going to say initial in this case, just to make things simple. Now we can add that remote. So I copied that command a little bit earlier. And then we're going to run git push origin u and master. So u will create the upstream. So when we push to master again, it will just know what to do. Okay, so we're done. Let's go over to GitHub and give this a refresh. And that is our code on GitHub, ready to deploy to a freshly created server over on Forge, which we're going to be doing in the next part.